So somebody asked me, what language should he learn in 2026? It's not so much about the languages. Really, it's about understanding software development. That said, if I had to pick a language, I would say probably JavaScript. It gives you a lot of flexibility. It's part of it gives you a lot of flexibility. It's part of the C family of languages. It's pretty cool. But again, especially going into 2026, where we are now entering this new age of uh, augmented development using AI, low-code, no-code platforms. The languages are part of the equation. You have to know your foundations of programming, but the language is almost irrelevant because a lot of the code, a lot of the boilerplate code will be written by AIs or you'll be using pre-configured uh, low-code, no-code platforms. So it's about orchestrating all these tools. So I wouldn't get too caught up in the language. Here's the other issue. If you learn one programming language, you know so many others because the basic constructs of programming are very consistent across the languages. It's kind of like learning to drive a car. If you learn how to drive a Porsche, you know how to pretty much how to drive a BMW, you know how to drive an Audi, you know how to drive a Toyota. With some differences here and there, buttons are a little bit different, the, uh, the cars will handle a little differently. But JavaScript, Java, C Sharp, PHP, Python's a little, syntactically is a little different, but conceptually, and that's the hard part to get your head wrapped around, once you have it, you have it. Function's a function, a variable's a variable. Uh, s strongly typed languages are strongly typed. Um, uh, objects are objects. Uh, inheritance is inheritance. Blah, blah, blah. Now, different languages will implement these ideas, these concepts in different ways, but at the, at the, at the end of the day, they're very similar. So I wouldn't be so concerned about the language. Number one. Number two, the environment around the languages are much more important. So I would say explore the web stack because it's the, that is the vertical that is the stack in development. There's a web stack. There's uh, Android development. There's iOS development or small device development. The web stack offers the greatest range of opportunities in terms of development. I'm not saying it's the best. I'm just saying in terms of availability of jobs, it's probably your best choice. And in the web stack, I would probably choose JavaScript because JavaScript is the only game in town on the client. You also have server-side implementation of JavaScript in something called Node. Whereas competitors on the server, you got Java, C Sharp, Python, PHP, Ruby. Don't use Ruby. I'm just joking. But there's a lot of competition on the server. But on the client, the only game in town really, really is JavaScript. Although, I don't. I, I think you may be able to push TypeScript to the client. But it doesn't matter. TypeScript is it's very close. You learn JavaScript. For you to learn TypeScript, it'll take a day or two. If you know TypeScript and move over to C Sharp, you probably get you probably get productive in that in three four days. You know, it's not that difficult. So don't get caught up with the languages. The main thing is you want to develop developer skills, which are the ability to look at problems, break them down to simple components, and then be able to make intelligent technology choices in terms of what technologies you're going to use to solve that particular business problem. Sometimes it'll be JavaScript. Sometimes it'll be Python. Sometimes it'll be WordPress with some PHP. Sometimes it will be a AI first application. Sometimes it's a combination of these things. It all depends. It all depends. No language in particular is better than the others. So there you go. To reiterate, if I had to pick one, JavaScript. Second place, Python. Simply because of uh, opportunities, they're easy to get your head wrapped around. Like, for example, to learn JavaScript a lot easier than learning C. To learn JavaScript is going to be easier than learning uh, C Sharp or uh, Java. Uh, and then, but once you get your head wrapped around JavaScript, then to learn those other languages, it becomes pretty trivial.